Well, hi, car. Man, Banjo, you have a really good engine in that car. And with that, welcome back to some more Diddy Kong Racing. Barley, I think there was a big old, like, car that just drove by your house with a very loud engine. Now, what are you talking about? Banjo just tweaked that as a ride like he does in Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. That would make a little more sense. Yo, huh? Is I do like the see the one? lack of Lego pieces, though. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I guess because I'm the only one that has the game, I'm doing the Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts playthrough for First, you need to play because that game is very open worldish. <laughs> like I said, okay. play it first. It's a very big game. Has anyone done Banjo Kazooie for the channel? Mm. I want to do the first one here soon enough. You, Justin, do you want to do Tui? Uh, I'll slow and lean more towards the first one, but uh, since Lester's already got it, um. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. And who's well, makes gonna sense, do Grunty's cause... Revenge on the Game Boy Advance? Okay, well, I don't think any of us here play because I know I haven't. Yeah. I want. I, I think I played the it, demo but... at a Walmart once, that's it. I I played all of Banjos, so I'm, I know the game pretty well. Yeah? I know the first one pretty good and the second one uh, decently well. Well, you know the second one better than me because I only God actually damn, beat the game Banjo. once. Freaking Jets on that shit. Yeah, show. I do, and it's <sighs> bad track. It's uh, pretty heavy on backtracking a lot. Yeah, that's kind of why I haven't replayed it in a while, because oh, the backtracking. Well, I was about to say... <laughs> Kazooie, stay probably... in the backpack. Hey, I'm probably singing, because I swear this music sounds like the chicken dance. <laughs> Marley? Yeah? Your bird just acted a... It pulled a Kazooie just now. Well, it's not like Banjo has his backpack sealed tight. So if Kazooie was in this game, she has no oxygen. Well, that's what happens when you put him in the blooper special. He ends up just going, I want more screen time, please. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll do the nuts and bolts playthrough now. Nah, look <laughs> right now. Like I said, you have to play it first because that game is very big. I know, I know. I'm going to have to. I mean, very big. Oh, yeah, very big. But anyways, I guess this is the first game that Banjo actually was in. Yeah, this was his debut, and that's how we got known. Then they had Banjo-Kazooie. Really? They put him in here before Banjo-Kazooie? Yeah, this was a game that was meant to introduce a lot of rare characters, which is where you both see Banjo for the first time in Conquer. Yeah. So this was got, their debut, like, and then you know, they were the only two that were popular enough to actually get their yep. games. Hi, Nintendo obligatory uh, product placement. Hi Did again. Now really you're red. Back? Yeah. The, only, Hi, the only two characters that come out of this is Banjo and Conker. Everyone else just kind of fades into existence. And so Banjo was the one that they made the theme of nuts and bolts simply because it was mentioned in Banjo and Banjo Tooie. In a sense. Yeah. yeah. Lego car <laughs> parts. <laughs> oh boy. That, that's just my two cents, but yeah. Again, hey, I don't know. If I get a copy of my turn out to be fantastic. I mean, I was wrong about Final Fantasy 13, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't played it yet, but I just only heard horrible things, and not only that, the, that clip from John Tron. That clip will live on is my one of my favorite videos on YouTube. Well, the reason why the yeah. game just gets so much hate is because it's not your traditional platform and it was meant to be. Because if you just take mm. out the mind that, oh yeah, this is Banjo-Kazooie, it's, it's a pretty alright game by itself. It's just that it tries to live up to this big expectation, kind of like how Sonic 4 flopped because it lived up to the classic games and didn't do it well. Mm. It's pretty much the same scenario. If Banjo wasn't the title, it would have been fine. But that wasn't the case. I'm pretty sure the mentality that a lot of Sonic fans get going at the moment with that is that Sonic Advance is Sonic, is Sonic 4. Yeah, pretty much. Like, because that's it what played very to, much like the classics. Just Sonic. But, yeah, it's like, 
Wait, there was a Banjo Kazooie game on Game Boy Advance, though. Yeah, there was a couple. Uh, it's called Grunty's Revenge, and I'm pretty sure it, it's a bit like um, how the Game Boy Advance Crash and Spyro games sort of draw from their count console counterparts. Okay. So, like, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing out of all of us, I think the only one who would possibly have it is maybe Justin. I don't think he has. Justin, have you played the um the Game Boy Advance uh, Banjo Kazooie game? Uh, I think he's BRB. <laughs> have you played it? Silence. Well, that answers my question. No, I think he did say earlier he has yes, played pretty much all of them. It could Funny be enough, anything. <laughs> there was another Banjo Kazooie game on the Game Boy Advance. It was a kart racer. So Banjo did appear in another kart racer before All Stars Racing as a guest appearance. Huh. That, that kart racer yeah, that. I heard wasn't really that good, so it speaks for itself. Well, if if kart racers on the Game Boy Advance are anything to go by, I think the only one I've actually played and liked was uh, Mario Super Circuit. Because I've got to be honest, Nitro Kart, uh, Crash Nitro Kart on the Game Boy Advance is hard. Yeah, yeah. it is. I get his hard. Okay, I've heard bad stories. Justin, you're back now. Okay, uh, Marley just asked you a question. Oh, sorry, uh, what was it? Yeah, it was basically asking if you've played the Game Boy Advance Banjo Kazooie game. Uh, no, actually, I never even. I never even knew there was a. Or no, there was a. Banjo Kazooie Game Boy Advance game of it. I did see some of the for a bit. Yeah, uh, I mean. I've heard about it and I've seen all of about five screenshots and apparently it's it's very if Lester, what are you doing? Key. Are you going oh you gotta go out of your way for this one so much. You're better off just getting it and resetting the race, which is why I had to do for that one. Fair enough. It makes sense. So I just wanna put that in the end of the race because it's so out of your way. There's no way you're gonna win that race while collecting the key. Like, really, the first Makes key sense. you get okay. back in the Dino Domain is like the only one I could think of where you can get it and still win the race, because it's not that far off the beaten path. Well, a lot of these other mm. keys are hidden. Fair enough. Like, also, look at that glorious that frame comes rate. To mind is, like, you, you would think, I don't know, like, playing this game and seeing all the decisions that could admittedly be better, especially with the keys. And I yeah. you're thinking, you know, it would be easier if you could get it during the lap, I'll admit. Yeah, like, just more like, out in the open somewhere. Did DS version? No, it's still the same. They're, I believe the keys are all still in the exact same. same positions. Oh, well, that's good, I suppose. I mean, it makes sense. They're trying to keep it faithful. They don't want to change it up too much, even though they already changed up a lot with the car customization thing. Oh. So, yeah, because in the DS version, in the hub area, there's not this big tent. And in there, you have a magic lamp. You rub that, you have a lot of customization, which includes your car. You can add more abilities to it. You can add, like, a faster wheel, better booster, stuff like that. So you can actually mm. make your car better, so it won't matter what character you play as. Okay. But that's, like, okay, that's the major cool. change with the DS version. The second major change was that they added a course creator. So you can make your own courses, and you're required to do that in the story, too. To actually progress. So that's how they teach you about it. But that wasn't in the original at all. So it kind of comes out of nowhere when you're playing the story, if you played the original at least. Okay. Why? Why do I feel like this? This music is a remake, like a really high-pitched, quick version of it, Winter Wonderland. Yeah, you know, it wouldn't be surprising because they're going with that Christmas theme. Do, do, do. Now you got first. There you go. Yeah, I can kind of hear it. You can kind of hear it. Yeah, a little bit. It's like it's faintly there, but then again, I wouldn't be surprised because this entire level was based off a Christmas setting. So it wouldn't be that surprising to make a Christmas themed song, too. How many balloons are there in the game? Uh, I have to check back because. No, there's more than that. There's like 47, I believe. There's a lot. Yeah, like 47 and 48. 
Yeah, there's a lot of balloons. And you need to collect all of them to do everything in the game. So, I am getting them all by the end of this. Yeah, there's a total of 47 balloons in this entire game. Yeah. Okay, I, just, I thought that was his name. I think that was his name, yeah. I never paid attention. I just think of him as Big Wallace like trying to race. I never remember these names as a kid. I don't remember either. At least it's not that hard in the first part. A little bit maybe in the second. Yeah, it's just the second races are always the ones where they just really, really go in. They really do their best. So you gotta be very mindful of the track and really be knowing of where these items are and using them at the right times. Second races are a lot more annoying. Especially the next world. How Banjo and the Walrus broke my internet connection. Step one, <laughs> turn the video to one, 114p. Second, make it buffer. A lot. 114p. Oh, that's even worse than what YouTube offers. Uh, yeah. We're at 10, 11 minutes. 1101, 1102, 1103, 1104. I'm a little behind, man. Yeah, it's not the big of a deal, it's pretty much at the end anyways. Banjo just glared at me. <laughs> what are you talking about? The site doesn't work. I must move the slider and Banjo just looks over his shoulder. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Banjo. Please don't eat me. So you have to do essentially the same thing that you did with Tr uh, Tricky's grandpa. Yeah, same thing in every world. I've got a special message for you, but if you don't have subtitles on, you're screwed. Well, you know what's the funny thing? If you want to read the first line, it, it just sounds funny. I got a special hint for you. Take your finger off the accelerator. <laughs> what, you trying to make me lose here or something? 